Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, as I look back at the last seven years that I've had the honor of serving as the mayor of Indianapolis, two things make me proudest. First, we attracted a lot of great people to serve the city. One of the best groups of people to serve this city in decades. And second, because of those great people, we tackled issues that had been kicked down the road for a long time or had not been figured out financially. We did not shy away from the challenges. We worked to build a new public hospital. We launched Rebuild Indy to improve our neighborhoods, our streets, our trails, our sidewalks. We proposed a plan for a new criminal justice center. We are moving forward with regional mass transit. And we are finally turning the old Market Square Arena into something other than parking lots. And he has accomplished many big things that have generated headlines and many big things that did not generate headlines. Our work to make our water cleaner, faster, will still be the greatest accomplishment that most Indianapolis residents hardly know about. We inherited a sewer plan facing hundreds of millions of dollars in cost overruns, but David Sherman and his team re-engineered that system. They renegotiated our agreement with the EPA. They developed a plan that saved Indy residents nearly a billion dollars. And their plan is the reason cities across the country look to us as the model. Another highlight that rarely gets mentioned is the fiscal stability of our city. When I took office, our city faced a crippling projected budget deficit and property taxes were skyrocketing. I supported property tax caps, and yet we managed our way through the Great Recession. While other cities across the country laid off employees and cut services, we did not. We stabilized the budget, and we kept our city growing, all while, sli while slashing the city debt. In so many ways, we made government work better and cost less. We brought the Six Sigma process improvement to the city and saved nearly $17 million for taxpayers. We eliminated the backlog of discrimination claims and cut the time it takes to resolve a case by about 75%. And we modernized the Mayor's Action Center. India is the city, led by a Republican mayor, which is getting nationally noticed for sustainability. India is the city that other places across the country seek to emulate in the areas of cycling, electric vehicles, parking, urban revival, and economic growth. Our future is immensely bright. Our population is growing at its fastest pace since the early 1990s. Our economy is growing twice as fast as the national average, ranking in the top 10 cities across the country in that category. India is the city that kept building despite the recession. Everywhere you look, you see signs of progress and things getting done. Look at the transformation taking root at the old Central State Hospital, Winona Hospital, the Meadows, Keystone Towers, Bush Stadium. A month ago, we broke ground on the Downtown Transit Center. Cummins is building a global divisional headquarters in downtown Indy. The city market is now a buzz of activity. The Grand Hall is filled with shoppers and people grabbing a bite to eat. The Bike Hub is attracting cyclists from across the city and people working out there before and after work. In this area, which used to be wasted space, is now a gathering place for talented people to collaborate, to make our neighborhoods even better places to live and to work. Eight years ago, it had to even cross my mind to run for mayor of Indianapolis, let alone finding myself here today talking about the future of our great city. Back then, we only dreamed of hosting a Super Bowl, but now we probably look back at those 10 days when everybody said Indy hosted history's best Super Bowl ever. India is filled with excitement and growth. 
Do we have challenges? Of course we do. But we also have the talent and the community spirit to come together to address them. I look forward to continuing to play a role in Indy's progress in the years to come. But come 2016, my role will be a different one. As you know, I don't follow the same patterns as professional politicians. When I first decided to run for mayor, no one thought we could win. That's an understatement. I heard the same refrain in 2011. And despite knowing that we can win again in 2015, today I'm announcing that I will not seek a third term as the mayor of Indianapolis. As I've said for weeks, the decision is very personal for me. And Wendy and I have wasted two wonderful children who are both on their own right now. And as a Marine and as a mayor, I have committed most of my life to service. But there are other things that Wendy and I want to do. And that is why I've reached this, this decision. But I'm not done yet. We will continue to seize every opportunity to make India an even better place to live, to work, to learn, and to raise a family. In the past few years, we have greatly expanded the educational opportunities for children in our city. And just yesterday, we announced a bipartisan agreement to fund a bold new preschool initiative for children in Indy from low-income families. We aren't done yet. And we have no intention of taking our foot off the pedal. I have been fortunate to have a great team of people join me in service to our city. And I can tell you, we won't stop thinking and dreaming and acting on behalf of Indianapolis. We will continue to do big things for the next 14 months. There's a saying in the Marine Corps, a Marine officer never gets short. In other words, you keep working to the end. We will do that. Serving this city as mayor is a great honor. Our work is putting Indy on a course for decades of success. People and places once thought forgotten by the government now hold a new optimism about the future, about the possibility of what may come next. The attitude in this city is much different than it was just a few years ago, much more positive. And I'm grateful for the trust the citizens have put in me. I will continue to honor that every day. And I will never stop seeking opportunities to promote and encourage the great things about this great city. Thank you, everybody, for coming out today. I very much appreciate it. Winnie and I love all of you. Thank you so much.